Hi, this is Andrew from Saks. In front of you, you have a document that we call the League Ladder of Recruitment Predictiveness. And I'm going to talk to you today about reference checks. Now, on the left-hand side of the League Ladder of Recruitment Predictiveness, you have a list of things that have been used over the years to predict whether people are likely to be successful at work or not. On the right-hand side, you have a number, those little validity coefficients. Fundamentally, the bigger they are, the more accurate the recruitment method. The closer they are to zero, the less accurate the recruitment method. Now, if you look at to where you can see 0.26 in the right-hand column, you'll see that that's against reference checks. Reference checks predict with a validity of 0.26. Now, is that good or bad? Well, in fact, you can't use a validity as a measure of percentage accuracy, but you can easily turn it into a measure of percentage accuracy. All you have to do is take the 0.26 and square it. And if you do that, it comes out approximately to 0.07. So what does that mean in practical sense? It means that reference checks are 7% accurate. Another way of looking at that is that they're 93% wrong. So it really raises the question, should you reference check? Well, I think you could, because sometimes you're going to find out really useful information in reference checks. But what you also should do is that you should place a much higher emphasis on the things at the top of the league ladder of recruitment predictiveness, things like psych testing, because reference checks simply do not measure up. I mean, the most accurate combination of psych tests will give you predictiveness of close to 50%, which is a lot better than 7%. If you'd like to find out more about how to conduct psych tests to make your recruitment methods more accurate, then click on the link in this video.